This is Witchbase News for Friday the 15th of July 2022 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week ...it's Lavecon this weekend. Original Elite wireframes running on a Lego brick ...and as the war against the Thargoids escalates in the Pleiades we have our first hint at the launch date for update 13. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you'd like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. If you've been waiting your entire life to see the original 3D wireframe ships from Elite rendered on a Lego brick then I'm deliriously happy to inform you that your hour has finally come. Yes you heard that correctly 3D wireframes rendered on a Lego brick. Twitter user James Brown posted video of his custom built processor and screen combination in a single 2x2 two two brick running all sorts of 3D images including wireframes of the original ships from Elite. You can even tap one of the studs on the Lego brick to cycle through them on screen. I know it sounds like I'm talking about an April Fools joke ...I promise I'm not. Apparently we're suddenly now living in the future. You can find a link to James entire thread on Twitter with multiple videos of his Lego brick witchcraft including the Elite wireframes in the description below this video. In case you aren't aware already this weekend is the weekend of Lavecon ...the UK's premier fan convention dedicated to all things Elite. If you're attending the event then Rini and I will see you there. If you're unable to attend the event then it's still possible to experience at least some of it through the live streams and broadcasts from the event in Milton Keynes and you'll find links in the description to this video that will take you to the channels you need to follow and subscribe to to catch those streams. From Frontiers community management team Arthur, Zach, Sally and Bruce will be in attendance as will some of the games development team and the company's regular Frameshift Live fortnightly livestream has been moved from Thursday evening this week to 1.30pm UTC ...that's 2.30pm British summer time on Saturday afternoon where it will be broadcast live from Lavecon to a no doubt packed room full of commanders. I've put a link in the video description to the table of events for the whole weekend that includes a LAN room, Lego building, Artemis Starship bridge simulator sessions, Lave radio and Hutton Trucker live podcasts, Elite Dangerous RPG sessions, cosplay and more. One highlight of particular note there is a silent charity auction taking place over the weekend for the chance of owning one of the amazing Elite Dangerous sci-fi and fantasy themed models you can see on screen now. The models are by Cully and the proceeds will go to Special Effect and EDS UK. All in all it's set to be a very exciting and no doubt exhausting weekend. Can't wait. Salvation's Proteus Wave anti Thargoid super weapon continued its Guardian bin dipping power up in HIP 22460 this week. The previous weeks Tuesday to Tuesday Salad Nation sponsored bin dive community goal was replaced by a further Tuesday to Tuesday Salad Nation sponsored bin dive community goal as the bargain basement messiah demanded yet more materials for his AX honey trap. Participants have a chance to earn themselves a very blingy gold salvation themed paint job for their efforts. Last weeks Thursday community goal was replaced this week with an anti xeno community goal to protect the Proteus buildup. This goal is rewarding small salvation gauss cannons to the top 50% and 25% of contributors. That second community goal to fight the Thargoids makes mention that the Proteus weapon will need 2 more weeks of assembly before it can be ready. That puts us firmly in the region of the start of August for update 13 to kick in and presumably deliver whatever update 13 is going to deliver. 
we're tentatively calling out August the 2nd as the possible splashdown of update 13 and the day when whatever the Thargoids are going to do in response to Salvation's now frantic stick waggling likely arrives. Quite frankly what we're referring to here as T-Day. The text of the community goal makes further mention that Operation Witch Hunt has, in law at least, employed the use of saboteurs to attack Salvation supply infrastructure further enshrining the entirely player driven anti salvation response to all of this into elite dangerous law. How flipping cool is that? As the week progressed through to the Thargs day tick the build up of both Thargoid and human forces in HIP 22460 escalated. We reported last week that the area contained AX conflict zones that were marked as low and medium threat only. There were no high threat zones. That all changed on Thursday when new capital class warships arrived in the system. Further we're hearing reports that these new high threat conflict zones feature an end zone hydra or two they being the current top tier Thargoid adversary. If you've not yet been to HIP 22460 it is worth a visit even if you don't fully participate the battles raging around the superpower warships are really quite the thing to see. The laser spewing lurgy lettuce from beyond the stars being quite vexed by all the guardian goop that is currently amassing in the system. One small word of warning we have some evidence that the unusually high high prediction rates when entering the system that had recently become the norm are now sometimes resulting in an immediate unprovoked attack from the attending Thargoid interceptors so watch out for that. If the Pleiades level Thargoid thuggery and guardian bin diving holds no appeal for you however but you're still in the market for a community goal then fear not. In an unprecedented move there are currently 3 community goals active the last of which is an exercise in chasing down criminals and handing in bounties. The Federales it seems are keen to capture the red family drug dealing crime lord by the name of Oberon Church. You'll find that all happening in the Ando Watye system at Bosch station. Just what do you think will happen when Salvation unleashes the Proteus wave? Will anything even happen at all or has the too good to be true super weapon already run out of steam? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.